welcome to this week's episode of the Time Travel Theory with me, Matthew Salzer. So, with Star Trek Picard coming up, just to show, rocking it, I figured I would do an analysis of Star Trek's time travel, which, as we know, because of how much Star Trek there is, there's quite a bit. I mean, you've got the old movies, the new movies, you've got five different series, six include, uh, going on to seven, including Picard, but long story short, there's quite a few. As I've mentioned before, there are two different theories of time travel and science fiction. There's the single timeline theory, which is that you are literally jumping back into the timeline. And then there's the dual timeline theory, which means that instead of jumping back to your timeline, you're jumping to an alternate timeline, leaving yours unaffected, but changing this one. Both of these, appear in Star Trek. The example of the latter would be the J.J. Abrams verse where because of a specific type of time travel it have created an alternate reality which is currently coexisting with the current reality so they're basically unaffected. Then you've got multiple, multiple examples of the former alternate timeline Tasha Yar going back and creating Sela, just the fact that the Enterprise C altered things by not being up for the Klingons against the Romulans. Another example of A would be the time when Q decided to have Picard go back and Picard insisted that the original timeline remain unchanged and he would appear in a new timeline. Star Trek IV is solely based on time travel. Then you also have the various predestination paradoxes. Trying to get into specific examples is just impossible when I'm doing an overview. This is basically something where I would have to go into every single time travel instance. If you have some examples, be sure to list that. Because as I said, a lot of Star Trek. Star Trek First Contact is another example of time travel. But yeah, lots of Star Trek, lots of time travel. Bet. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below again if you want to see some specific examples of Star Trek time travel reviews. Let me know. I will do it, whether it's an episode or a movie or etc. 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 Also, be sure to subscribe to my social media. My Twitter and my Instagram are both at Matthew Salzer. I was lucky in getting that. I'm probably going to be doing some lost tape next. So, yeah, thank you very much. Have a blessed day. Bye!